Here we're going to learn about the preparation of nitriles, meaning we're just trying to figure out how do we get the CN group into our molecule. So we're going to look at uh, probably the two most common methods. Uh, the first you're already familiar with, hopefully quite familiar. is the SN2 reaction. And what we're doing is using something like NACN, which gives us the CN minus nucleophile. Now for SN2, if you're going to use a nucleophile, you need a carbon with a good leaving group So something like a BR, or that could be CL, I, tosylate, a good leaving group. So if you have a good leaving group, and you react this with Sodium cyanide, right? When you see the metal and the non-metal, break that up. Na plus, Cn minus. Na plus is just our spectator ion. Cn minus is the nucleophile. So for the SN2, Cn attacks the carbon with the leaving group. The leaving group leaves. So we get our product with the cyano incorporated plus sodium bromide as a byproduct. Um, just one important feature of this, which we'll talk more about when we get to synthesis, is this is a really nice way to add a carbon into your molecule. So we started out with something that had four carbons. Now in the product, we have five carbons, so it's a way to elongate a chain by one carbon atom. Uh, just to refresh for um, the SN2, so the carbon containing a leaving group remember it must be sp3 hybridized and it can be methyl, primary, or secondary. In this case, this is a primary bromide. The second method we can use to get a nitrile into a molecule is nucleophilic addition to an aldehyde or ketone. the carbonyl of an aldehyde or ketone. So for example, let's say we have this ketone here. The conditions we'll use, you need sodium cyanide and acid like HCl. Now, this is a set of conditions you want to be very, very careful with uh, in working in the lab, working in a hood, because mixing these together generates highly toxic HCN. The product of this will end up adding the cyano group to the carbonyl carbon. and then the carbonyl oxygen becomes OH. This here where you have the 
the carbon with an OH and a CN group. Uh, this is a new functional group here to know. This is called a cyanohydrin. In terms of how this works mechanistically, you should already know the first step because what do we have? We have a carbonyl, we have acid. So the first step when you have an acid is to protonate the carbonyl to make an activated carbonyl. Now that you have that activated carbonyl, we'll add our nucleophile, CN minus. which leads you to the product.